I've made the mistakes, so you don't have to. Today I have 11 perfumes from Fragrance World Dubai. But which ones are fun and which ones should you shun? The ones you should get and the ones you should forget. The ones that get a yeah and the ones that get a nay. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dias and you're watching Smelly Cat. Hopefully from the comfort of your homes, locked in and safe. If you're new to the channel, like I am, hit that subscribe button because there's a whole lot more to come from me. Today we'll talk about Fragrance World. It's a clone house here in Dubai that not many people might know about. What I'll do is I have 11 of their fragrances with me and I'll tell you the ones that are worth buying. I'll start by telling you that these are 100% honest reviews because I don't sell any of these fragrances so I have nothing to lose or gain by telling you what to buy. So I'm not going to hype any of these fragrances or tell you that it's the original on steroids or they are like 93.14159% uh, like the original or it's the same scent in a different bottle. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. Let's start with the woman's fragrance from this house. This one is called Shalana and if you recognize from the bottle, it is a clone of Perfume de Mali's Delina. This one is all about the rose and lychee combo. Sweet, sour and floral. Uh, very soft and comforting, yet long lasting. Goes strong for around 6 to 7 hours, projecting well in the first 2 or 3 hours. My wife likes fragrances with peony in them. So think of Christian Dior's Holy Peony or Miss Dior or Jo Malone's uh, Peony and Suede Blush. And this one has a good amount of peony in it. One of their good ones. So I'll give it a yeah. Second on the list is Layton. Now they didn't bother changing the name to like Clayton or Lantern or Legion. They called it Layton and the bottle looks like the original too but this one is more like a hip flask atkinson style design now coming to the juice in the opening it gives me a hugo boss bottled meets la nuit de l'homme kind of vibe like a mix of that apple and vanilla meeting lavender and cardamom and then later on it starts smelling more like Leighton. now this one is a funny fragrance because on some days it lasts for hours and on some days I hardly get around 4-5 to five hours with this one. Uh, I'm not complaining though because I got it very cheap and it doesn't smell cheap. It's got a very nice mellow woody vanilla dry down and that is something I enjoy a lot with this fragrance and that's why I'll give it a yeah. Another woman's fragrance and one that my wife picked up because she likes the original. It's called She Girl and it's a clone of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. In all honesty, the bottle is really hard to pull off. And with the price that these guys are offering at, which is around $10, it fails. Um, I mean, it does look like the original, but I remember with the original, you can spray it with one finger. This doesn't work. Uh, this is how you have to spray, spray this one. It's a bit too floral for me and it also has a rubbery vibe to it uh, which could get very cloying so much in fact that it actually overpowers uh, the best bits from the original which is the cacao coffee and almond and for that reason i'll give it a nay next we have intro intense addiction now this one is a clone of initios addictive vibrations. I first saw this mentioned on uh, the channel of Ben Daniel and someone told him that it is a clone of Inisho's absolute aphrodisiac and I saw it mentioned on a couple of other places too. I'm sorry brother but this is a clone of Inisho's addictive vibration. The original is a little too floral for my liking and the use of apple blossom could make it a little girly for and some. Has more of a crisp green apple and honey mix and the sweetness is a little more dense. The green apple instead of that apple blossom really makes this a more unisex scent and that's why I, I really like this one. Performance is amazing guys. You'll go 8 hours without having to reapply this one and it feels like it projects really well in the first, first 3 hours or so. Pretty unique stuff and very enjoyable. My wife and I both reach out for this one 
and that's why it gets a a yeah the fifth one on the list is called white ink now to sum it up this one is a loud and screechy version of lalique white that performs and lasts twice as much as the original and that's why i give it a yeah pure x a clone of paco rabanne's pure excess i get a strong peppery vanilla cola feel from this one in the opening uh although it's different it's too chemically for my liking this is the same for the first hour or two and then it it slightly gets better after that but sadly that is when this one starts becoming a skin scent yep longevity is not the greatest on this one you'll get around 3 to 4 hours and the projection is in the first hour or so when it doesn't really smell that good i do however like this ck reveal sort of bottle but sadly it's not enough for me so i'd say you could skip this one and you wouldn't be missing out on much and that's why yep it's a ne nah. next is green sapphire i love this bottle just have a look at the cap on this one i have no clue how they managed to sell this for around 40 dirhams to put it into perspective that's 10 dollars the juice wonderful masculine spicy woody and can be worn all year round it has that spicy luxurious bar of soap feel that amwaj epic has or even its clone which is killer oods ethic has great work with that cedar pine and sandalwood uh, this one lasts and performs like like crazy and you will get compliments mostly from men uh, men really want to know what you're wearing because it is a very woody manly scent and for that reason yay the other budesha the victorious clone they have is called mocha wood now i've mentioned this in another video i've made where i was listing out oud based fragrances that non oud lovers will like have a look at that video too uh, i'll leave it in the description below for now i'll say that it's a delicious coffee vanilla oud fragrance uh, by that i don't mean your usual caramel amber oud uh, from the middle east this one is a notch about those and while men like green sapphire this one is a hit with the ladies and that's why i'll give it a yeah a diorom clone yes parfum the om is a clone of diorom and not diorom parfum like the name might suggest it's not an exact replica but it seems like that signature iris is softened a little with more vanilla and lavender feels almost like a diorom flanker longevity is great like most of their fragrances and performance is also pretty good if the only thing keeping you away from diorom or diorom intense or diorom parfum is that lipsticky iris then you'll like this one i do and that's why it gets a yeah bad lad this is their version of carolina herrera's bad boy and it looks like they've learned from their mistake with trying to copy the bottle of good girl and they've concentrated on the scent with this one rather than go and copy that complicated design of the thunderbolt still a decent bottle nice and heavy clean design uh, but what does it smell like looks like they've taken some liberty with this one to me it's more like pakorban's invictus with a uh, with a little more tonka and cacao added to it and i actually prefer it this way bad boy also has a hazelnut nutella feel that is missing in this one but that's not such a bad thing longevity is around 6 hours with good projection for around uh, say 2 or 3 hours and for that reason yay last one guys it's called tobacco myth and this is their version of Carolina Herrera's Mystery Tobacco from the Exclusive line. This is such a dry tobacco and patchouli scent that I hardly detect anything else in it. Not as sweet as red tobacco, but I see why some people might compare the two. In terms of closeness to the original, I'd say they've done a good job uh, considering the price this is available at. Doesn't smell cheap or artificial. Smells like an actual good quality winter fragrance. This is a beast when it comes to performance. It will last on your skin for a good 9 to 10 hours and you will 
heavily project in the first four to five hours. If you're not into deep, heavy, tobacco-like fragrances, then I'd suggest you skip this one. But if you're looking to stand out and really make your presence felt in the winters and not looking for a sweet tobacco-like scent, then it doesn't get better than this at this price. So you know what I'm gonna give it. It's a yeah. And that was the video, guys. Let me know what you think about it. I'll be bulk buying a lot from Fragrance World because I quite like them. I think we gave like nine yes and two nes which is what 81 percent if i'm not wrong let me know if you've tried any of these scents they've got like a crap load of clones so if i should pick any let me know in the comments i hope you've already hit the like and subscribe button also the bell icon uh, stay in stay safe i know it's hard times but all we've got to do is stay inside so i hope you and your families are really staying indoors until next time, keep smelling amazing.